Hi there, Pete here from Radio.co. So today we're going to look at linking your Sam Broadcaster Pro with your Radio.co station. So first of all, we're going to go over to the website spatial.com. Then we're going to click what we do. And then this will show us all the programs that uh, Spatial do. Today we're going to trial Sam Broadcaster Pro. So we're going to click more info. And then we're going to click on the 14 day free trial. Now this will load up a form for you to fill in your name, your email address and so on. This will then send you a link on email to download the program. Now, if you don't see the email come in your main inbox, do check your junk mail because sometimes emails can fall in there. So once you've gone ahead and ran the install and Sam Broadcaster Pro is now installed, you will see the following window. Now, some of your options might be different from the ones you see here. However, if you click on window, you can select the ones you'd like to see. The important one for today is encoders. So it's important you select window and then click encoders so you see the encoder box come up because this is what we'll be using to connect to our radio.co station. So now we're ready to connect Sam Broadcaster Pro to our radio.co station. We're going to click the plus button on the encoder window and we're going to choose MP3 lame. Make sure you click that option. Then we're going to click OK. Now once this window open, you will see the default bit rate is 64. Now that's quite a low quality, so today we're going to change that to 1 to 8. However, you should double check it also matches your station bitrate, which you can do via settings on the broadcast tab. And then on server details, we're going to click Choutcast and we're going to click version 1. And that will allow us to enter the details we need. Now on your right hand side, you've got various details about your station which you can enter. So your station name, website and so on. For today, we're going to leave that blank and leave it as it is. Now we need to type in our server IP. Now we can get that from our radio.co webpage. Uh, just on the top right hand side, if you don't see it, click the little live drop down button. So first of all, we're going to click copy that and that will copy that to our clipboard. So we're able to paste that in. And then we're going to need our port number, which you can also get from the dashboard. So that is 4328. Then we're going to need to go back to our radio.co dashboard and copy our password. Now once the password is copied, we can paste that into the password option here and then we're going to click OK. So that is now our encoder set up ready to go. Before we connect, we're going to play some music down the line. So that is now playing and that means we're ready to connect to our radio.co station live. So to do that, we're going to click on the encoder and hit the little play button. You'll then see the status change from encoding and that means we're ready to connect to our radio.co station live. So if we go back to our radio.co dashboard. We're going to see the connection status in the top change to on air. That means we are now running from Sam Broadcaster Pro and that is feeding our radio.co station. When we're ready to disconnect, we simply go back to Sam Broadcaster Pro and then we hit the little stop button on the encoder option. That will change the status back to idle. And then if you notice on your radio.co dashboard, you will see the connection status go from on air to not connected. Now, Sam Broadcaster Pro is a great program if you're looking to do a little bit more with your station. If you're looking to schedule music, if you're looking to run bigger playlists, it's a great program to do that. Of course, if you want to know anything else about Sam Broadcaster Pro, just head to spatial.com. And if you have any other questions or you'd like to find out any information from us, just head to radio.co. Until next time, take care and happy broadcasting. Hey, I'm James, founder of radio.co. Before you go anywhere, I've got an interesting question for you. Do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful, gets lots of listeners and does very well, and a radio station that perhaps kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention. Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.